Hello, welcome to CED Mosba online video series. Uh, this video is on uh, configuring a PowerFlex 525 using the uh, USB uh, with the CCW software. All right, so Connected Components Workbench software is open. Um, we're going to go over here first thing, and we're going to bring in our drive. Now you may already have um, drive parameters or a file that you've saved in Connected Components Workbench of a drive that's already out on in your plant facility and you just need to replace it um, or you need to replace the, the control module or perhaps if you're um, if you have a customer that needs this done for them then you could just buy purchase a control module and load the parameters on it from an uh, earlier upload and then send it out to them but we're going to be working from scratch here so what we're going to do is we're just going to add this drive give it a name I know these um, here are correct or revision and drive ring so we're just going to hit OK. What I'm going to do is go through a startup wizard and just set um, the parameters that I want. Um, we're going to set this up for a pump so we're going to go volts per hertz. Um, you know if we needed to adjust any of this we could. If we wanted to take it to one amp, um, put this at 1800, whatever you needed to do for your nameplate data. Um, we can't do any testing, obviously we're not hooked up to a drive. Um, we we'll change the ramp rates. Um, we're going to make this all Ethernet IP here. No, you know what, we'll leave it on the keypad. Tripod, yes. So, and um, let's go ahead and configure these. This is your uh, IP address on the drive. So let's go ahead and give it one of those so that when we put the parameters on there, we'll be able to talk to it. Um, any digital inputs? Um, I'm going to change. I'm going to use the keypad as my start source, so I'm not going to worry about any of this. I'm just leave these at default. Um, same with our outputs, and we're going to hit finish. So now we've configured our drive to where we want it to be. Let's open it back up here. Um, the next step to doing this is uh, to open up the drive, the device definition and just click on this uh, export button. Um, obviously import would be the other way. If we were bringing the parameters off of a control module off a drive we could do this but we're going to use this export button. Uh, as save as file type we're going to drop down and save it as a 520 series USB file and we're going to put it I'm going to call it 525 and we're going to put it right here on my desktop. I already have one there, but we're going to replace it. All right, so it has been successfully completed. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go uh, show you how to take the control module off of the 525 drive and hook it up USB. All right, so here we have our powered off 525 drive. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the front of this. This is the control module, which separates from the power module. So if you have a control module go bad, you can just replace it and leave the power module in place. If you have a uh, power module go bad, then you can leave the control module in place and all your parameters get saved on your control module and you don't have to worry about it. You can just replace the power module. So see how they separate like that? Use this locking tab on top. You have to slide it up and you can take this off. And you'll see on the front or on the back of here, there is a USB port that can fit the old style USB uh, square plug. Uh, Rockwell sells these cables. Um, we can get a quote for them for one if you need one. Um, we just plug that in here. And then we take the other end here and we just plug that right into our USB port on our computer. And you'll see the the control module kind of light up with a little bit of green on the screen and that's how you kind of you know it's working so for now we'll go back over to the computer and we'll take a look at uh, what we got going on so here we are back over at the computer and you'll see down here um, this popped up just as if you would put a flash drive uh, into your computer uh, same thing happens so we're going to open that folder and there's these two files. Uh, so this is right on the control unit uh, for the 525. There's a guide that if you open it up, what it does is it steps you through um, the parameters of the drive. So if you have any questions about what those are. But then we're going to open up this little application right here. 
And from here, this is where we can upload from the drive to and then open it up in uh, CCW. That's where we'd use that import instead of the export button. Uh, we can download to the drive or we can flash the drive first if we needed to. But you can see our drive is already at 5.001, so we're fine there. So what we're going to do, all we have to do in our situation is we're going to download our configuration, browse to our desktop. There it is. Hit next. The download drive parameter data. And there it is. And that's it. So what you would need to do now is take that control module, put it back onto a power module, and power up the power module under full power, 240 or 480 volt, whatever the drive's rated for, and it would load those parameters. Uh, one thing to remember is if you use this for a flash, the drive is not flashed until it's powered up under full power. So if you use this tool to flash the control unit, you need to power up under full power before you can go ahead and change parameters after a flash. Otherwise, you're just going to write over your parameter settings. So that's it. Thank you. Once again, thank you for watching. And don't forget to check out future and current videos by subscribing to CED Mosbaugh Electric Supply on YouTube or visiting www.mosbaugh.com media. Thanks again.